Hey everybody, Tony D and Little Joan here with a final screenwriter's rant on No Sudden Moves, a gangster movie. You know how much I love them, uh, starring Don Cheadle and a whole bunch of people. Smash like and subscribe. Thank you for smash liking and subscribing. Uh, please check out my books, Woke a Stand a Novel, Holly Woke, another novel, political satire, and of course the Pineys books one through six, available at Amazon.com. Don't forget too, Little Joan and I, have two other videos on BitChute and Rumble. And uh, somebody in the comments, they were like, oh, I don't have BitChute and Rumble. Well, you can get it if you have access to the internet. Uh, I mean, it's just a website, BitChute, Rumble. Um, but you can also get BitSlide for your phone, which will allow you to access the BitChute videos. Now, Don Cheadle plays gangster, I guess is in the, in the 50s, and they've got some sort of complex heist bank thing where Cheadle and a bunch of guys, including um, uh, uh, Del Torrio, what's his face? I, I can never remember his first name. Uh, they are, their job is to watch the bank robber, and this is from uh, Soderbergh. Their job is to watch the family of the bank, bank manager, excuse me, or one of them, keep them basically hostage until they can rob the bank, essentially. Uh, but, of course, there's a double cross. They're probably actually intending to kill the whole family. And uh, Don Cheadle and his boys don't want to do that. So it's sort of a team up with them two. And, uh, you know, very vintage, very classic looking. Um, you've also got John Hamm. He's in the mix. And Brendan Fraser's in it, too. Although I don't, didn't see him in the trailer. So it uh, looks interesting. Uh, mildly funny, not this is the funny scene where uh, Del Torrio is it Del Torrio? I forget it, so I, I'm gonna play a little bit of it here. Don Cheadle, Benicio Del Toro, Ray Liotta, John Han, Brenda Fraser. Oh, that was Brendan Fraser, and hey, he's, he's got some weight on him. I didn't even recognize him, that was him in the beginning. Wow, yeah, he gained some weight, but you know, a lot of times that can make him look. And David Harbour, I totally didn't recognize him, he lost some weight. He doesn't look like uh, the guy from <laughs> Stranger Things at all. Nice job, guys. Um, Julia Fox. Uh, and, you know, it's about a heist and a double cross and a double, double, double cross. And, uh, you know, who's going to win at the end? Well, I assume Don Cheadle, since they're promoting him as kind of the head guy in this, that he's got to, you know, keep his make his way through different things. And this is David Harbour, uh, uh, surprisingly, in a scene where he has to uh, tell his bank manager, I'm going to punch you, sir. I'm going to punch you now. Here comes a punch. I'm like, he kind of can't do it. And then this is uh, Don Cheadle looking at him and kind of being like, uh, uh, white people, am I right? Uh, <laughs> streaming July 1st. <laughs> On HBO Max. I don't know. It look, It's a pretty good cast. I mean, you got to give it that. It's a nice cast. It's vintage. Uh, so probably won't be a lot of woke stuff in it. But these days, it's hard, so hard to tell. First act is the setup, right? Eh, you got all these gangsters. They got a thing. Oh, it's going to be easy. We want you to be a part of it. Okay, we hire you. Then they execute. And there's something wrong almost immediately. Second act, as they're executing this thing, things get complicated. They either save the family and hightail it out of there, or they're all killed, and then they're like, oh, we got to get out of here, or we'll be blamed. Then, you know, I think John Hand's the cop in this. Um, so they're going after various people. And this guy, who I've seen before, uh, I assume he's a, a Culkin's a, a cousin or relative or whatever. Um, and uh, so, you know, they're trying to rob a bank, and everybody's dirty, and... Don Cheadle, you know, everybody's screwing everybody else, and here's Ray, oh, here's Ray Liotta. I, I'm going to guess he plays like a mob guy, because in this mix, he would be the most Italian of the group, right? So maybe he's the uh, uh, the mob guy who's approving this, or, you know, taking his cut, or whatever. So, uh, yeah, I mean, it could be a fun movie. I like Ray Liotta, but it says with Ray Liotta, meaning, like, he's in one or two scenes, and then he's mostly out. Um, I don't know if I'd get HBO Max just to see it, though. It seems like a lot. 
to do. Maybe, you know, I would totally watch it if it came on, like, Amazon Prime or something, something I already had. Um, so it looks decent. I'd wait for some more reviews. And then, of course, the third act is, you know, it all ties together and Don Cheadle, like, tricks everybody into killing each other. and Or maybe he dies. I don't know. I mean, these movies, that's a great thing about crime movies. They can kind of go any direction. You're usually not going to build a franchise on a criminal character, right? It, they're just kind of disposable guys, and that's what makes them fun and unique. They're always flawed, which is great. Um, but, you know, it's like when I... Uh, worked on my game, Complete Mafia for D20, the idea behind the game was the game punishes you for being noble and good. It encourages ruthlessness. And that's because that's the way the criminal underworld operates. The more ruthless and criminal you are, typically the more successful you will be, at least in your crimes. I mean, there's a limit, of course. There's a limit on any end of the spectrum. But, you know, being good and noble costs you. In, in the criminal world. So, um, yeah. Yeah, this could be decent. Um, yeah, I would say it. I would say it. I don't know if I get HBO Max to see it, and I do want to see more reviews on it, but uh, if I could find a place to see it, I'll watch it. And that's it for me and Little Joan today. Make sure you check us out on BitChute and Rumble, and we'll see you tomorrow.